Welcome in once again. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in, man. Why do I have these headsets on, man? My bad, guys. We have Salomon Great Raging Phoenix, guys, from Soul Burning Volcano. Um, again, a card that everyone seems to want, that everyone seems to need right now. The whole theme of today's market watch is that we have reprint season looming you know uh just breathing on top of us people like oh jay it's over now we know what the, the rarity collection 2 is going to bring we know everything that's getting reprinted don't forget about battles of legend terminal revenge now that we know stuff and things and cards and pieces of cardboard that are not coming in the rarity collection 2 now after the rarity collection 2 we need to look ahead everyone's just focused on the rarity collection 2 everything that's coming now the latest and greatest and i won't lie i mean our latest video is on fire on fire on fire we did a collaboration with saki i'm um, look 2.3k just 10 hours man this video might break records we'll see how it ends up panning out but the whole point is the the, the markets are going crazy rarity collection 2 is looming on us and a bunch of things are getting reprinted and a lot of people are excited that's all good and well we we move on man okay rarity collection 2 that's all fun and games that's good but battles of legend terminal revenge no one's talking about this right now that's why you're here right now when everyone talks about one thing we talk about it too but we don't leave it there they just talk about it. watch the next couple of days a whole week two weeks up until the rarity collection 2 comes they'll only be talking about that no we'll be talking about it sure but we can't forget about what's coming reprint season not just with the rarity collection 2 but right thereafter um battles of legend terminal revenge and cards like these cards like Salomon great raging phoenix not coming in the rarity collection 2 so again where can konami slide this in in the tins possibly but battles of legend would be a perfect place to reprint this card just my opinion again look card was 34s the other day spiking up to 55s look 17 listings you have a couple of deals here but after that the walls are essentially at 54 55s the mid 50s and after that the next one is at 74 to 75 dollars two pages only so again the demand has been going bonkers for this card and now that people know that it's not coming in the rarity collection too and the closest reprint you know that this card could possibly get unless it comes in an ots pack would be battles of legend terminal revenge people will start coming back in picking this card up because it's just heavily needed in today's current meta and uh this card is extremely hard to get in a product that no one cracked open insane was going on with this one right now we have punishment dragon again a card from code of the duelist this ultra rare continues to hover and consolidate you know just a hair under 30s right here two pages only 17 listings only this ultra rare is definitely needed right now especially for you know light sworn um decks and it's a dragon card as well so right now dragons tenpai dragons not to say that this card is necessarily played by them but at the same time you know it's, it's just a hype a needed card a lot of people want to play around with this card especially with uh light swords and the light the new light sworn cards and the light sworn engine so again this card needs a reprint they didn't get a reprint in the rarity collection too we move on to the next reprint product another great candidate to be reprinted in this year's battles of legend why because this is from code of the duelist i mean it, code of the duelist got reprinted years ago in the previous tens not now so this is the perfect card to be in the battles of legend terminal revenge set coming you know this summer um hopefully konami doesn't slack with this one this card definitely needs a reprint soon so that would be the earliest that i would be expecting this reprint down the line again we have battles of legend terminal revenge coming out june 19th guys their official launch date is the 21st ots is the 19th 2024 so again all the battles of legend packs always have amazing reprints is one of the biggest and best reprint sets of the year um and again don't forget ice barriers getting support genix getting support infernoids ritual beast man so again a lot of new support coming out for uh, old deck archetypes you want to make sure you keep this product in mind everyone else forgot about it and again beautiful box beautiful artwork honestly don't forget that we're getting look 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 top of that you'll find new cards that bolster strategies introducing phantom nightmare and legacy of destruction guys i like it i like it. i like it. look sky striker support just around the corner as well so again most people have been forgetting about this product no one's paying attention to it so let's discuss again we already did with two of these um some cards that could possibly um come in here look combines the storytelling of hidden arsenal series series right here so again we might be getting cards from hidden arsenal reprints as well so it's always good to stay a step ahead man when everyone goes left you go right and vice versa you need to do the opposite of people and no one's 
um thinking about this product but here we are that's why you're here guys we have trident draggy on again this card we're always talking about it here and there the whole point is that this card again not coming in the rarity collection too so unless it comes in an ots pack be it uh i don't think they'll do an ot a super or a common honestly battles of legend terminal revenge would be a perfect place to reprint this card everyone needs it tenpai dragons are not going anywhere anytime soon that would be the perfect place to place this card before nets um you know is it before nets man i think that set comes during nets is it man really cannot i think so man the whole point is we need this card regardless so make sure uh, konami that you give us this card um this says 63 market price let's see is it dumping down let's see let's see look they're playing with us they're playing with us dumping where not down it's dumping up jay look at that have a couple of one of then is 125s one page on insane 10 listings for the og ultra first said um i don't i just don't know what to do um, anymore with this card i mean just all versions have been going bonkers for this card the secret barely holding on double digits i mean you do see the supply coming in so that's good but it's extremely expensive card man hard to get we cleaned this up janitor style one page only still single digi listings insane what's going on with this card right now it needs to come in battles of legend terminal revenge konami we need this card we don't have it in bulk man if you haven't realized yet due to these prices if we would have had it in bulk like you said this thing would be readily available and it's clearly not um my friends don't have this card either so uh yeah 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 konami we need this give it to us in battles of legend terminal revenge another one is triple t's triple tactics thrust again a card that everyone was excited to possibly receive this card inside um the rarity collection too and that is not the case we do see here um look at that look at that let's clean this up for the ultra it's showing a dump you know people thought maybe um that is coming in the rarity collection too um this is a strong dump is it coming now man i didn't see it obviously in the list that we covered right now 44s but that's just a couple of deals quickly goes back up to 50s and then 60s and beyond three pages only 27 listings again thrust man an iconic card that a lot of people want to get their hands on this card um and uh yeah these old seas man i'm surprised these still these still are not triple digits i'm surprised because these are cheap at 80s um again not coming in the rarity collection too so again people the next set the next reprint set would be a battles of legend terminal revenge that would be more likely to get a, a, another reprint and, they, and if it would skip that one then the next one would be the tins um obviously but before that i mean konami you need a reprint cards with this demand just continue to be the expensive um unless you give us a super in an ots pack which you know they never do um again triple t's use that threes at play sets of many different meta decks um a lot of people always have been wanting to get their hands on this card but just never wanted to pay the 40 the excess of 40 dollars a pop that's a hundo and 20 to get a play set you know essentially i think it was maybe mid 30s at one point maybe 100 at the cheapest maybe at locals um but it has always been extremely hard to get this card since inception nothing has changed yet a lot of people are waiting for again another reprint battles of legend terminal revenge i doubt it comes in there if it didn't come in the rarity collection too and now they'll probably skip that and just have it in the tins as part of that 400 card lineup but it would be nice to get you know an additional print um inside battles of legend terminal revenge we continue to speculate another one is super poly super polymerization in the previous battles of legend monsters revenge we got a secret so it would be nice in battles of legend terminal revenge we could possibly get a ultra rare yes it already has supers and ultras and commons and a bunch of different rarities but the demand just has always been bonkers for this card consolidating here barely holding on to single digits as we can see 44 listings but then quickly goes to double digits five pages only Hard is just extremely hard again we were endlessly talking on the channel you know about six months eight months a year ago whenever this card came out saying guys at two dollars pick this card up you know reach double digits a high of what almost 14 is insane what went on with this card um look at it 14 34 is almost 15s so again insane that was what 7x easy money so um yeah we need this again konami we can't have you know having um commons of super poly be eight dollars um where is it where is it let me see look, look at that look at these seven sevens across the board for commons now we need another ultra rare in battles of legend terminal revenge especially because this card already had a QCSR, so it couldn't be a target for the rarity collection too, as we correctly and accurately predicted. So again, the proper reprint for this card would be 
the next Battles of Legend Terminal. I'm sorry, the next Battles of Legend set, which in this case is Terminal Revenge. We have Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus. Again, all of these Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge cards. Yes, this one got an additional ultra rare print in the two player starter set. I was cracking that open. You know, so again, another reprint of Sky Thunder wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad at all to see Zeus reprinted. This card is still holding the double digi mark strongly here 78 listings and you do have right there eight pages a lot of ones and twos you have an 11 wall here but after that it continues going on up 12 over 12 dollars with shipping so uh yeah 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 card used to be 15s still hovering around the low double digi range but again again a couple of months from now um really a month from now i'm sorry a month and a couple of weeks from now it would be nice to see another reprint of this card that just always has that eternal demand just a broken extra deck card that we want to see get reprinted again as you guys saw we saw direct support coming for sky strikers i believe honestly guys again this one's not coming in the rarity collection too all the sky striker cards will most likely get reprinted in the new battles of legend monsters revenge so as a leah as a leah tomatoes tomatoes guys sky striker ace as a leah um as a leah here you know but again another one that needs a reprint used to be 12 billies we told you guys literally to pick it up at these prices and now we said that eventually we expected high teens to 20s for this one and we're on our way you have a couple of one of the six here mini wall at 16s but then eventually it does go to 1850s and eventually almost 23 pages only 29 listings again another one people are scrambling trying to pick up these cards to get access to all the sky striker cards um so you want to make sure um that you keep this card in mind um, as we move forward into battles of legend terminal revenge people will need it but i think if there was ever a time to reprint this card battles of legend terminal revenge would be the precise time to reprint this at least as an ultra rare as it already does have its secret rarity then we have duality a single print card still again another single print from the same set look if we clean this up janitor style we do see that we only have what 79 listings and barely holding on to single digits um for this card eight pages 79 listings as we said people coming in still grabbing place it's again if this card would get reprinted that is the perfect place battles of legend terminal revenge cards like these that came in monsters revenge or you know the other cards that we have been discussing and will continue to discuss uh, down the line same for assault synchron look this card beautiful uptrend here still five dollars it feels like it's been five dollars forever um you do see when it comes to the amount of listings almost under 100 listings already you do have 11 pages here and a couple of walls and ro you know uh, amounts there as you can see but five dollars straight billy bob's willing to pay almost nines for play sets insanity insanity they would they would but again this one as an ultra rare would be nice in terminal revenge as well guys don't forget we have a giveaway we have a giveaway coming very very soon um again look, look at it here again don't forget please I, I we always love to give back in the channel on the channel shout out to andrew um you know for sending these cards look blue bellies fenrir's and i added what ghosts oh uh a winter uh, reaper cherries Jeez, i always mix the name uh it's reaper reaper <laughs> you know what i mean uh you guys want these ulties right here look at where is it where is it right there look at that look at that ultimate rares that it's not coming in the rarity collection too i still don't get it guys plus the three blisters all you have to do is subscribe man subscribe to participate at 5k which is just around the corner we're hosting that giveaway and you know three lucky winners we believe in the power of three here we'll be winning those prices all you got to do is just slap destroy that subscribe button ring that bell that's it now if you want to join the movement and take it up a notch you can participate in our massive member giveaway right there chaos angel transaction rollback and uh this dude a typhon right there right there look at that look at that broken we're giving away these cards guys insane giveaway here our biggest giveaway ever on the channel you definitely want to participate if you're a member join in make sure you're in the discord so that you can participate and gain access to those broken cards three of you lucky guys guys so make sure you keep that in mind guys if you enjoy investing into Yu Gi Oh, stop losing your hard-earned money first link in the description down below get yourself over here five minute read Get your investment guide so that you can invest with purpose at least have an idea most people just buy and sell cars they don't know what they're doing honestly you're here i just to entertain yourself and to you know watch me and my personality and everything i do no it's also to educate yourself so that you can do better off on your personal investments when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. take advantage of this first link in the description down below you also want to make sure you take advantage of our 15 dollars off over here 
and whatnot look you can come in here get ready for the rarity collection too maybe buy cards from legacy of destruction that you need um sealed or singles you name it apprentice um you know nightmare throne anything you need you get 15 dollars off your purchase don't miss out and we have a discord continue to grow we will be doing a 500 discord member giveaway soon so stay tuned for the details one click and you're in you want to make sure you're inside and join our wonderful community none of this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only guys we have tomb black luster soldier yes this card already had an og print from tomb chaos and it got reprinted in battles of legend crystal revenge a card that everyone forgot about no one's paying attention to and uh yeah recently a spiked from eight to 13s you know you have a couple of deals at 11s and close to that but then eventually continues on going on to 12s and beyond and look only 33 listings four pages here a card that's extremely hard to get yeah you do have the massive walls of china a little bit of a retracement back down to the mean but at the same time you know um this card the demand is always endless there's a lot of people that really love tunes i really like tunes as well so again this card is worth that money and uh, another reprint wouldn't be that bad it wouldn't be that bad if this cards get reprinted um in uh, battles of legend terminal revenge um you know to satisfy it it's tomb bls man we, we need more of these we need more of these we have number f0 utopic draco future again another one that came in kiko you know came in this set as a rarity bump and would use you know would do well with an additional reprint as we can see here card used to be five six billy spiking up to 16s man insane it, the trend is your friend until the end this card is in a clear uptrend the only thing would, that would destroy this card price would be a reprint so uh under 50 listings still 11 dollars i'm um, still hard to get this card five pages down here but a reprint would be very welcome uh welcoming to see um from battles of legend terminal revenge we have crimson dragon again from duelist nexus we talked about duelist nexus um the other day but i forgot to mention this card i believe so spiking up from 13s so getting sales even at 20s you do see 17s quickly goes up to 20s four pages only 34 listings again centurions are competing currently in the meta people need this card it has the sneak peek the, the, the starlight qcsr whatever but the whole point is that this card needs a more readily available print yes if it's not in the tins they might sneak this in in uh the the, the battles of legend terminal revenge keep this one in mind then again we have centurions again came in valiant smashers late last year you know and it's already been five months of this year so uh it's time it's about that time to consider reprinting these cards but the only thing that worries me is that vanquish souls they will have not gotten any reprints and that thing came in wild survivors those cards so this one is relatively new compared to those type of sets um side sets and uh yeah 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 so again but still this this is more a meta relevant right now I think it's more deserving of reprints and Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge would be really, really nice to see some of these sneak in there, especially, you know, the main, more expensive pieces. Um, it would be nice. It would be nice um, to have more people being able to play this deck because right now, needing play sets of all these ultras, super expensive, just like Vanquish Soul, you know, back in the day when they got released. We have Thunder Dragon Colossus. We talked about uh the ultras i believe so not so long ago so this spike from 43s all the way to 80s post ban list and now still hovering like 30 wow 30 copies at 60 billies um but again this card honestly i won't lie i thought it would have been put in um the rarity collection too it was a perfect fit coming off the list we would have qcsr seven different rarities you see they put in so many fillers and then they leave cards like this one out of the rarity collection too i just have no idea I don't get who chooses those cards who makes those decisions because honestly this is a perfect candidate especially coming off the list give us man i'm not even gonna go down that road guys but again didn't come in the rarity collection too it best come in terminal revenge because this card needs a reprint some way somehow doesn't fit the bill to be reprinted in the tins unless it's a promo or something give us this reprint in terminal revenge konami come on now. come on now and we have arch nemesis protos again another one that needs a reprint still a single print from eternity code doesn't fit the bill to be reprinted in this year's sin so again terminal revenge is that set guys so terminal revenge is that perfect set to reprint cards like these that were six billies went up to 38s retrace back down and now um it's still hovering here a couple of uh, twos and three ofs at mid 20s but eventually it does push up to 28s almost 30s and uh if we do clean this up janitor style we do see here look 40 listings only extremely hard to get this ultra rare um this card needs a reprint soon didn't come in the rarity collection so it best come inside terminal revenge we have heat wave another one 
another card that only has like a common and a rare and two commons in a rare. This card needs to be reprinted. Same deal. They didn't come in RC2, and this time it comes in Terminal Revenge. Look, used to be two billies. No one cared about this spiking up to 13s and 16s. Um, yeah, these commons, man. Whenever we see those reveals, we better have cards like Heat Wave in there. Doubt they'll put it as a secret. Unfortunately, hopefully they do. You know, but if not, we'll even take a ultra rare max rarity version inside that reprint set. Then we have Aromace. Nah, nah, nah. Look at that. Aroma Man, I'm not even gonna try anymore. Jasmine, we have Jasmine here. Look, 19 Billy spiking up to 27s as of late. All these dual power and dual overload links and stuff like that. We need to see re reprints already, Konami. Like we can't have, be having this single print card needed by all plant players. Like, come on now. This makes no sense. So many years without reprint. Stop. 25s here, eventually 30, mid 30s, and then 40s. Two pages only. Insanity. This is another perfect candidate to be reprinted in Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. Konami, if you're watching, which I know you're not, most likely you're not. Still, listen, please give us this in the in Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. Just great candidates of single print cards that the masses and the community wants access to. We have Sprite Sprint. Again, this one came in Darkwind Blast. So I think um this one, I don't know why it never got reprinted um in uh, uh this year's tins. I just don't understand. Five pages here, 20, uh, I'm sorry, last year's tins, 44 listings. This card is still single print. Still makes no sense still a 14 almost 15 dollar card get out of here man terminal revenge konami that's your opportunity redemption make things right reprint this beautiful card in an ultra rare to have a more budget readily available accessible version as we already have the secret and that's it no rc2 that's fine but terminal revenge you can't keep skipping broken cards from specific deck archetypes that are hard to get we need better access so these and then we have the Sayak card that I forgot to discuss the other day when reviewing cards that could possibly get reprinted in the tins. So we have Despian, you know, Lulu, let's leave it at that. Again, Sayak secret that we expect to get reprinted in the tins. But again, you just never know. You never know. Some of these cards might get double reprinted, double whammied. And in this case, this one has 73 listings, eight pages. I think it's a pretty good candidate to maybe sneak in an additional ultra rare right there before the impending prismatic secret. That'd be nice possibly down the line later on this year so again again just speculating here one to definitely keep in mind me i wouldn't be investing into a card like this oh i need one j i play it that's fine that's fine you, you know that's okay but to invest into this is just a matter of time reprint season is just around the corner you guys rarity collection comes less than a month later boom battles of legend terminal revenge that's said june yeah it is june guys a month, less than a month later Boom, like three weeks later, Terminal Revenge is here. No one's talking about this now, but we are because it's important to think ahead, to have that vision. You know, when they're sleeping, we're awake. When they forget, we remember. You guys know how we do. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, and for your attention. Stay fresh.